What's up guys, this is Soccer Dave and I'm going to uh, just basically guide you through how to use the optimizer. Some of it is basic and some of it uh, the more advanced features you might not know about. So uh, without further ado, if you have the Platinum subscription, you can access the optimizer. If you have the Platinum subscription and, are, uh, and have the add-on for the BIS Baseball Info Solutions projections, uh, you can, it's, it definitely works a lot better. But at any at any rate, you go to the tools page and you can click opti optimizer. You can also click the MLB page and see it on the right hand side as well. The baseball tools. So when that happens, uh, you're taken to the optimizer. And uh, if you don't have the projections, you can upload your own projections right here. And uh, you can see that a guy right here, uh, Corey Kluber, um, it, the reason why he had that projection is because I was showing how to um, update so if you want to bump his price up a little or his projection up a little bit you can uh, just click on the number and type another number in there uh, so that's how that works the slates uh, the main slate is like the the big slates uh, if there's no description on Fandle or DraftKings it's a main slate if it is a description like express turbo late later after hours early afternoon all those are different slates and every one of those assigns a unique player identifier to the player so that's why it's important if you're exporting these lineups to click the uh, correct slate so if you want to click the late slate for instance it will remove every game except for those games in the DraftKings late slate uh, so I'm gonna go back to main and then if you want to exit out weather so uh, tonight there is the threat There you go. Sometimes it takes a while to load all those IDs. Uh, so tonight there is a threat of rain in, in Texas. So uh, I will click the at sign to remove both those teams. Or if you want to remove one or both, let's say everyone's going to be on Arizona tonight. And I want to choose like a little tournament lineup, which normally I don't really do. But if you want to do that, you just click that icon. Uh, so with that being said, you can go down and just Click a number of lineups that you want to create. We'll pick lucky number seven. Click generate lineups. And uh, there you see it. We have uh, seven lineups, 17 players used in seven lineups. And uh, all right here. So with that being said, it's easy to export them. Uh, you just select all lineups and you see the red hearts will line up and then you go to manage my lineups and then you'll click export to CSV and we'll show you later how to upload that to DraftKings and FanDuel. Uh, cheat sheet DraftKings you just go to my lineups upload lineups FanDuel you go to the individual contest and uh, you'll click upload lineups from CSV next to the enter button. All right so with that being said let's go back to our uh, lineups and uh, we'll deselect all for the time being. We'll go back to the optimizer. And let's play around with the stacks feature right now. Uh, stacks is basically you have the maximum number of players on a team. So um, on DraftKings, it's five, five hitters. On FanDuel, it's four players total. Um, and so let's just say that we want to target Baltimore Bats. So we're going to type in five, and then we will generate the lineups. And you see we've got five of the uh, Baltimore lineups. But we can customize it even further. So let's go back to the optimizer. And notice if you go to uh, hitters, the hitters tab right here, you'll see this batting order number. And what that's basically telling you is uh, like they're batting third. That's their spot in the order. So that's easy to do. Uh, but we're going to go back to pitchers. And we're going to do something called an exposure lock. And what that means is um, I, want, I, I want a little variance of the pitchers I'm going to use with these Baltimore stacks. So let's just say I want uh, Alex Wood at 25%. That means he'll be in 25% of my lineups. He's locked in to 25% of my lineups. 
And then uh, let's see. I will choose Smiley at 25%. And I will choose uh, Corey Kluber at 50% because they were projecting him at 100%. So um, that equals 100. You could actually go up to 200% for DraftKings since you use two pitchers. So uh, let's just go ahead and um, I'll lock in Robbie Ray because why not? So what this will do is um, it will basically lock in Robbie Ray, to, Robbie Ray to every lineup and then it will give me 50% of the starting pitcher two as Corey Kluber and the other guys right here. So um, that is what we can do. And let's set the number of stacks to 20. Well, let's do something different as well right here. We want to create some other stacks as well. So I'm going to click on the Arizona stack and we'll do, uh, we don't feel as confident. We'll do five there and, five and then we'll do in a hitters park five right here and so you've got 35 lineups let's make it an even 50 we'll target 15 boston stacks all right so this will create 50 lineups and what it should create is also 50 robbie rays and then 25 Corey klubers and uh, 12 and a half or 13 of Smiley and Alex Wood each. So let's see if that happens. When you have a lot of stacks or a lot of lineups, there are, are a lot of different parameters that the optimizer is using. So sometimes it does take, uh, you know, 10 to 15 seconds. And uh, when it does happen, you will see all of the players right here. So you can go... You see uh, there is, on the right-hand side, there's 50% Corey Kluber, 100% Robbie Ray. Uh, scrolling on down, 26% of Drew Smiley, and that means we'll have 24% of Alex Wood, since it's not a completely even number. So, uh, with that being said, that is how you use the stacks feature, or to lock a player in, uh, and you can do that without using stacks. If you just have a group of pitchers you like, say, on FanDuel, and you can just rotate them in and out, and you can play them on confidence. So let's say you want 75% of the heaviest favorite, the chalkiest play. You put him in there at 75%, and the other 25% of your lineups, you choose the other guys that are more of a GPP play. So that's how you use the, the lock exposure. Uh, you see right here the generated queries list, and what that does is that shows you all the different, in the session, all the different lineups that I have generated there. So uh, with that being said, you select all lineups, and what that will do is select all the different stack lineups that I have, and then you go to manage my lineups, and then you will click export to CSV.